Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I have a haul video for you guys. It's going to be a budget friendly haul. I got things from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Walmart clearance. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right guys, I have an amazing haul video for you guys. I have some things that I snagged up from these budget-friendly places, and I am so, so, so excited to share them with you. But before we get into the haul, I would like to share with you some happy mail that I received from the lovely Jessica over at Jessica Sparkles. Guys, go check out her channel. She's a wonderful color tuber that's sweet as pie. She does a lot of colorings and she does a lot of hauls over there on her videos. And she's just the sweetest person in the world. So go check her out over there, guys. But she wanted to send me some goodies and I wanted to open them on camera with you because I promised her my first reaction of me opening these goodies. She assured me that the goodies inside of here was going to knock my socks off. So I had to go and put some socks on guys and I put some shoes on just in case it wanted to knock my shoes off too. So we covered all bases. <laughs> all right. But before I tear into this guys, look at her. She is just She's just too much of a sparkling diva. I just absolutely love it. She put a little cupcake on the envelope and she labeled the, the name tag Princess Nisi. <laughs> I absolutely love her. Thank you so much, Jessica. Okay, let's get into this, guys. Whew. I just, I'm I'm afraid. I mean, I'm not afraid. I'm I'm nervous, guys, to see what's in this package because... Miss Jessica said my socks were going to be knocked off. So I'm nervous about my socks. All right, so we can put the knife up because I don't want any sharp objects around me when I get to screaming and, and being all excited and everything. So here we go, guys. This is my first time opening this. I waited on you guys so that you can be just as shocked as I am. I'm not even going to look inside when I pull the stuff out. I'm just going to pull stuff out and we're going to see what's going on in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh, and look, she has the cutest paper, wrapping paper. Oh my, oh my goodness oh guys oh my goodness i'm gonna put this little little note i'm gonna show you guys look at that i mean isn't that the most adorable thing you've ever seen i'm gonna be like jessica one day one day i'm going to be like the queen of sparkle okay so let's start with this all right i don't want to mess this paper up because it's so sparkly and cute and pretty look at that well let's start with this pen guys what what do you think she already knows what matches my decor i might have to have this pen in every video like that because blue and pink are my favorite colors so she got something that had blue and pink in it look at her know me too well you know me too well girl Oh my goodness, and she know I love cupcakes. Look at that. She had a cupcake on the envelope. She has a cupcake holder here. <sighs> Jessica, you just... Oh my goodness. Let me put this down because my hands are shaking right now. Oh my goodness. Do you see what I see? Do you see my hands shaking first and foremost? <sighs> my heart has stopped. Someone call 911. Oh my goodness. <sighs> now you know when Nisi gets quiet. I don't want to put them down hard. I'm like shaking and, and my hands are balling up right now. <laughs> oh, 
I would have never, ever, ever in my entire loving life have would have imagined for someone to gift me something so amazing. Oh my, look at this, guys. Oh, you see my hand shaking, right? You see it, right? Man, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Let's just have a moment of silence. That's it. Okay. You got you did you get the silence when I got the silence cuz I just Jessica. Okay, we're going to have to talk about this later once I compose myself. Let's open the rest of the gifts. <laughs> Oh, look, she has the sparkling washi. Now I'm just, I'm just rattled and razzled now. I can't, I can't stop shaking. I can't, I can't stop shaking, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All you need is love and tacos. good you know i don't know i might not need the love i just might need the tacos i don't know oh my goodness and i can stick this on my refrigerator oh my goodness this is so amazing oh now i don't want to mess this up i want to keep this i want to keep this on here maybe if i tear it down here i can keep the cupcake oh my goodness and I want to keep this washi too. I know you guys are like, Nisi, you want to keep everything. Look at you. Oh my gosh. I don't even think I can do the haul after this. This needed a video of its own. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. One in a melon. <laughs> She wrote a little lovely note inside. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Guys, I'm I'm a little bit too emotional to do the haul. I'm gonna have to do the haul in a separate video. <laughs> Cause I'm not I'm not going to be right after this. Um <sighs> Jessica, you are the best. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, wow. I am going to have to make a separate video. I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't, I gotta go get myself together, guys. Oh my goodness. Jessica, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I mean, luminance pencils, I can't, I, I would have never, I, I don't even have the words right now. <laughs> and she says in the, in the notebook, to Nisi, keep being the most awesome sparkly princess that you are. XOXO, Jessica. And I have my beautiful little cupcake down here. I absolutely love these. Oh my goodness. Well, guys. Oh man, I just, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what, what to say. I don't, all I can say is thank you, Jessica, and thank you to each and every one of you ha who have supported me on this journey. This has been the most amazing year because of you guys amazing people like Jessica and Donna and Monet and Mama Fruit Bat and just all of you in, in Color Tube, all of the supporters I have um, that has their own YouTube channels. A lot of you come over here and watch my videos and comment on my videos and it's just I can't express how appreciative I am for each and every one of you. And I, if I forgot to mention your name, I'm so sorry, but you know I love you <laughs> because I told you. <laughs>
And for all of the subscribers, all of you who have joined my exclusive YouTube membership, just thank you to each and every one of you. I live every day of my life happy because of you guys. So I promise you the next video will be the haul because I can't do anything else after this. <laughs> I'm paralyzed. So uh, the ambulance has made it here. So I'm going, I'm going with them to take me so they can resuscitate me. I'm, I'm dead right now. <laughs> I know you're like Nisi. Okay, you still talking? You so that means you still breathing? Well, I think I'm dreaming because this is at this is a dream that I'm I feel like I'm in right now. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get myself together, and I'm gonna make this next video. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this was a short one, but Jessica knocked my shoes, my socks, my pants. Uh, the the scrunchie that was in my hair, she knocked all of them off. <laughs> so I gotta I gotta go put my socks and shoes back on. <laughs> all right, guys. So you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day, and as always, happy coloring. Bye. Okay, guys. I've gotten myself together. And I'm back. The ambulance came and gave me a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and, and they brought me back to life. So here I am, I'm better than ever. But Jessica, she put one on me right there. She put one on me. <laughs> I'm just kidding about the ambulance, guys. All right. Whew, I must not be ready yet because I can't, I can't catch my breath. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Whew. All right. So let's start out with the things that I'm most, 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 most excited about, which is, which are the things that I got from Walmart. So you've already saw that I was able to find these from Walmart and my voice is still trembling, guys. Can you hear that? <laughs> I found these from Walmart for only $3.97 on the clearance aisle. You've already saw me uh, swatch these and share with you where I got them. And I got my second set from Amazon for $4.99. So I will link the Amazon affiliate link below so that you can go and get yours. And they are wonderful. And I showed you these guys, I think in a separate video. No, I showed these I don't know when I showed these, but I got these a while ago. Yes, I do show them because you guys were giving me tips about how to use the Crayola markers. But I got the Colors of the World markers uh, for $3 on the clearance aisle at Walmart. And I found the crayons. Now, they have both the 24 and the 32 set. Now, the difference between these is that the 32 set has eight classic crayons in here for coloring eyes and hair. So that's pretty cool that it has like, you know, those extra things in there to color with. So I got that whole set. I got the whole set from Walmart at a super duper great price. These were like a dollar and 20 cents and these were like a dollar 74. So guys, Go run to your Walmart, see if you can find. The pencils are my favorite. I'm not crazy about the markers, but maybe I'm using them wrong. But I have never, I haven't tried the crayons out yet. So I can't really give you much of an opinion on those. Now, the thing I am most excited about, guys, is this find from the Walmart clearance aisle. I showed this in one of my live streams. And... Guys, I know you see that big $15 clearance sticker, but when I got to the register and I slid these across, well, I slid this one across the scanner, guess what it rang up as? Go ahead. Guess. I hear you. Nope. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> Three dollars, guys. $3 is what these rung up as. And you could have saw smoke under my shoes how fast I was running back to the back to get the other two packages that was on the shelf. And I was like, these would have been gone if they didn't have a marked wrong. So guys, 
That's why I encourage you to sign up for the YouTube membership because when I see deals like these, I am going to let the YouTube members know first before I let anyone else know about the deal so that they can go and you can go and get that deal before anyone else hears about it and before thousands of people hear about it. And then, of course, I'm going to give it to my YouTube followers. And then I'll go over to Facebook and, you know, different things like that. But you guys are number one over here in the Dollar Diva Color and World family. So, guys, run to your Walmart and see if they have these marked down. I didn't even know Walmart sold Poscas, but I see Walmart stepping up their game because now they sell jelly rolls, like the Secura jelly roll pins. I see the Uniball Signo gel pins, the white one, the gold and silver, and they got it going on over there at Walmart, guys. So everyone is stepping up their game, even the budget-friendly pencil companies. Okay, Nisi, that's a whole nother subject. Let me stop rambling about other stuff and get to this haul. Okay, guys, so... Yes, $3. Run, 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 and check your Walmart. So those are all the things that I got from Walmart. Next, I want to show you the things that I got from Dollar General. I found these sequin stars, which I think will make a really, really nice... Let me open them up. They would make really, really nice like embellishments on oh that's pretty isn't it i think i might need to use this as decoration guys and i like how they're they're raised a little bit i usually don't like sequins because they have the little holes in the middle but on these the holes look kind of natural so yeah i like that guys look we got a little decoration going on here now I have to just make sure I don't waste the rest of them. <laughs> so those were a dollar, by the way. And I also found all of these washi tapes. Guys, you know I am all into the washi tapes now where I am adding them to my coloring book pages and making, you know, things like lamps and fixtures and pictures, making them have these different patterns. So I will be doing a video very soon showing you how I use my washi tape and my coloring books as embellishments. And these were only $1 at Dollar General. Okay, we're going to leave those stars down there for a minute, guys, so you can see if you like this new setup I got going on here with the lights and the the little mat that says always stay humble and kind that is so me I believe in that strongly all right guys so now last but not least is my haul from the Dollar Tree you know that's my place all right love it guys I'm gonna start off with yes the Colored Chalk by Crayola. The 12, you know I did a video. I will link that above how I use chalk or how you can use chalk as backgrounds in your coloring books. So Dollar Tree had that for $1 and they actually delivered very well on the Crayola products. They had the Pearl Crayons, eight count. They had the Pastel Crayons, eight count. And they had the Metallic Crayons, guys. Yes, and I think they had the Glitter Crayons also, but I think I already have those. So go check your Dollar Tree, guys, if you are interested in any of these. I plan on using my crayons and my Crayola products and more often than I have been using them. I'm going to try to figure out a way where I can really, really use them to fit into my coloring style. Look at one of my little stars trying to run away. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really, I'm really trying to figure out the Crayola products I have because I really like Crayola. It's very nostalgic for me. It brings back amazing memories. And someone asked me, why do you like Crayola? They suck. They're horrible. And I told the person, well, you know what, Crayola? Yeah, they may be kind of horrible compared to all the rest of the artist grade pencils that we might have, but Crayola is very nostalgic for me, just like Barbie coloring books. 
When I was younger, my parents would not buy me Crayola because you know Crayola was the top of the line in kids' art supply. We had to get the Crazy Art and the store brand and you know those uh, crayons that didn't have any pigment in there. It was like the red crayon looked like it was pink. <laughs> and the pink crayon looked like it was white when you put it on paper. Those are the crayons that we, we had to use. They wouldn't buy us a Crayola brand. I envied the kids that could get the actual Crayola brand and their colorings and their coloring books and at school, their colorings looked the best out of the whole class. And everybody who had the crayons like I had, their crayons were from the dollar store. They looked horrible, like a hot mess. I'm serious. It was it was bad. But now I can afford to buy Crayola. The Crayola products are way less expensive now because parents are buying their kids Prismacolor pencils. Yes, guys. Yes. <laughs> and that's because kids these days know how to take care of their nice gifts better than Maybe I did when I was that age. I probably would have lost the set of Prismacolor pencils that my parents would have bought me. I probably would have gave them away or let somebody steal them or anything could have happened. But these days, kids don't play. They're like, hmm, that's my art supply. Get away. <laughs> or I'll let you borrow it for two seconds, but don't you dare break the lid. <laughs> okay, guys, I know this This is like going to in a whole different direction. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, guys, the next thing I found at the Dollar Tree were these extreme smooth gel pens. Guys, I have never seen a set of gel pens that had these fall-like colors in them, like this brown gel pen. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. And this like olive green gel pen, I've never seen anything like it. And this like orange rust looking gel pen, it's, it's amazing. And the ink flows out so nicely and it's quick drying. So it does not smudge when you make a, make a mistake and rub your finger across your paper. So these are some nice gel pens, guys. And they only have two different colors. They have like a fluorescent set and then they have this set. So if you find this one in your Dollar Tree, make sure you pick you a pack or two up because I guarantee you when fall actually does come and we're looking for these pens, guess what? We won't be able to find them. So pick you a setup or two if they are at your Dollar Tree. Next, I found these Crayolable washable color glues. It says they dry in these bright colors. So I figured I could probably use these to make my liquid pearls. We're still working on those formulas, guys. I'm sorry, be patient, but I am going to share that with you very soon. Hopefully, once I get the formula down packed because I'm trying a lot of different things, but I thought this would just be cool to play around with and see how they work. And again, that was at the Dollar Tree. Okay, guys, next, and I don't know if you can really see this, but yeah, you can see it. It says coffee, the other vitamin C. You know, I just absolutely had to get this because I love me some coffee. It's it just, it's, it's necessary. It's a necessity for me. <laughs> So I figured I can use this to like sit on the side and maybe I would like to display it, but I don't know. I'm, I wanted to like sit my stuff on it that, you know, I want to keep off my desk because it's like a clear type of thing and I can just clean it off if I need to, like put my um, dirty, like, um, my dirty finger pushers. I can just sit that over there like that. Don't have to worry about, you know, cleaning my desk off and getting it dirty. But this is just so cute, guys. I absolutely love it. And last but not least, I got this mat from the Dollar Tree. And I like to use these types of mats for several different reasons. The first thing I like to use it for is just to add a little bit of 
pizzazz or change, change the scenery up a little bit on my backdrop of my videos. And it's also a good protection. When I start to do like a messy project and I don't wanna really get my table or my desk dirty, I'll put one of these mats down and it protects my desk from getting super, super dirty and me having to put chemicals on it to clean it off and all that stuff. And it's just nice to have that little layer of protection. Sometimes when you want to maybe cut something on, um, your desk and you don't have a cutting mat these mats are great for that now let me show you the second thing I use my mats for now I buy these um, like pegboard or whatever you call this type of board particle board um, clipboards from Dollar Tree and I like putting like my loose pages on them and coloring on them and so forth but i just got sick and tired of this clipboard looking the way it looks so brown so dingy so not the dollar diva so this is what i did guys i took those boring all kind of crazy looking clipboards and i created these Yes, guys, I used placemats and a few of the Dollar Tree um, sticker gems to create these cute clipboards. It's still kind of ugly and bland on the back, but that's okay. So that's what I use those for. So if you would like a tutorial on how exactly I did it, just let me know in the comments below if you're interested in a tutorial of how exactly I did the clipboards with the placemats. But I used the placemats that are, they're not, there are two different kind of placemats at Dollar Tree. One of them has like a softer feel and it, it kind of has just like, a, not really texture, but it's not completely like hard. Now, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. This placemat has like a padding. That's what I want to say. It has like a padding inside of it and it's very flexible and that's how the back looks. But these placemats, which are a little bit smaller, I just realized, are they're more sturdy and they have like a clear plastic back. Now I use these for something different, but I guess I could use these for the clipboards, but I'm gonna show you what I use these for, which is, you know how we use these chopping mats to make our page protectors? A lot of the times I cannot find the chopping mats. They are not in stock. So I found the bright idea to use the placemats to make the shape of the book protector page that I need. I use the hard placemats and I have one. This is the one I used to create these two page protectors for my books. So if you cannot find the clear placemats, you can get these harder placemats and cut them to size and use them for your page coverings. So I found all of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful designs. I also found this one, Live What You Love. You know, I just got this for the blue because I absolutely love the color blue and it was just calling my name. So I had to get this one. And the last one I got was this one, Live Every Moment with Joy and Laughter. And I actually found the foil backsplash wall sticker that matches it exactly. And I plan on doing something really cool and neat with this. So stay tuned if you wanna find out what that is. 
So guys, that is it. That's it, that's it, that's it. What do you think of my Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Walmart haul? I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And if you enjoy content like this, please, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big old thumbs up. It really helps the channel out and it really helps me to see that you are enjoying this type of content. Guys, don't forget to ring that bell so that you will not miss another episode from the Dollar Diva and so you can stay in step and in tune with the Dollar Diva life because we are offering the best over here on a budget. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. And another huge thank you to Jessica over at Jessica Sparkles for sending me the amazing and lovely gifts that stopped my heart for 2.3 seconds, but that's okay because I'm great now. <laughs> All right, guys, so you have a wonderful rest of the day, guys, and happy coloring. Bye.